This is part two. And I, I think I am going to put this on Amy and try to do some things to take it in. Because I love these flowers. I do. I was talking about Harbor Freight and some um, things you could get from Harbor Freight. If you don't have problems with lines, but I have problems with lines. And if your lines aren't straight, sometimes you have to do grain lines. Sometimes I'll throw extra grain lines in so when I cut it, you know, I'll know. Um, I, I'll have a grain line that's right. So I always throw in extra grain lines. That's just um, how I do. So I sound like my son when I said that. <laughs> but, okay, so tape. Masking tape. The masking tape, I cut, I do little pieces and put mine on temporarily. And then if I, um, when I keep the pattern, I'll get, I'll do mailing tape right on top of it because this will come off and um, it will be a mess. It'll stick to your other pattern things. But for temporary um, moving your pieces around, masking tape is good. Some people use scotch tape, but scotch tape to me holds on grips. You can get the magic tape, maybe. I, I've never used the magic tape. Hmm. So I also put interfacing, cheap interfacing. Joanne's has when they have the 60% off and the interfacing on sale or their cut by the yard stuff. I get cheap interfacing and I put it on to my pattern pieces um, and then... I mark them with erasable pens. I get these from um, Amazon. And these are heat erasers. I don't like a bunch of mess after a while on my, on my pattern. So after I do, after I make um, the pattern, the, um, sometimes I just get rid of lots before I tape it because it's already cut you don't need the lines anymore so yeah. but then also if you make a mistake you can get rid of lines also for draping too if you're draping a muslin and you are doing the lines to start it off the center line doing those hip line stuff and you make a mistake you can just iron your eyes right out because I still I have problems with lines, and sometimes my lines will look crooked, and I'll just get rid of it. And if I have it in pencil, then I do another line. It's just so. What I would recommend is if you're going to do this book, you want to get this book, get a base a bodice, two bodice pieces in your size, then front and back, and a set in sleeve. And cut it out in O tag. Or you can um, put interfacing on it and put it on something. We put ours on paper, this ABC paper. And then when we move the pieces, what, say we had to move a piece, we moved it on here. After we had all the pieces done, and we also wrote, okay, down one and a half, over three eighths, um, one and three fourths down, and this is written on this. And then we got, we um, traced this on pattern paper, and we, see, I got a lot of notes on this thing too, and we, um, wait a minute. We traced it on pattern paper and we made a muslin to double check um, the um, fit. And if we change the fit on the muslin, we change the fit, we change it here. And so when this was done, we got our, we got this page and we wrote it. We wrote down everything we did. So now when I'm doing a pattern, size 20, I just have to move it according to this. So makes it kind of easy. Those are basic adjustments that I make. Now, if I get a different size pattern, 
then, you know, I have to figure out the pattern. But once I figure out that size, it's pretty much done. I don't have to figure it out again. So this is a very easy, I feel easy book to follow. And I would recommend anyone who's having um, issues with adjustments, um, want a quick way to do something. When I first started this um, adjustment, it was, it was like, mm. but after a while you do it and it, it, it's, it becomes so easy. And um, just to have a great fit. Now, I have to do some things for my daughter and my niece. I got their measurements. I'm going to plug it in, make a, um, a paper for them like that, have them try it on. And then I know, okay, this is a dress, um, tops, this is their size. But see, they don't want to, I'm not talking about you, Dominique. I'm talking about the other one, my daughter. She don't want to be still to do the measurements. And I'm not doing things for anyone who I can't take good measurements because they're not going to be happy. Then I'm wasting my time in, in um, doing the work. But that's a whole different story. So anyway, hopefully you like this video and you got something out of it because I really I, I love this um, book and the easy way to do adjustments. This is not um, one of those books where you have to do a lot of calculations. There was some book that I got for Amazon, those lines, and I have I have trouble drawing the straight lines. So I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it was. Okay, anyway. Bye, guys.